Okay there guys, so I have reached the pinnacle of boredom now over the weekend because this is going to be my fourth video. So in this video I'm going to show you how to get HD videos or how to make HD videos in Camtasia Studio Player. Now, If you've watched my other three videos that I've done I'll show you the process how I've done these. So I just thought I'd do a separate video showing you what to do. So you want to go ahead and record a screenshot and then you want to open up Camtasia now first of all you want to go on this produce batch production you want to add the file that you've recorded I've done an example one so I'll just add that then you want to click next now under where it says here preset manager you want to click that and we want to click new because we're going to create a new preset now we're going to name this YouTube HD now I've already done one so I'm going to name this YouTube HD 2 okay now make sure the file format is MOV QuickTime Movie okay this is the best output form that you can get then you want to click next it is a little slow when you do this then you want to click quick quick time options then where it says settings you want to click on that make sure the compression type here is H.264 we want to change the freight rate from current to 30 and we want to change the compressor quality to best okay then you can click OK now the size we are going to change this from current to 1280 by 720 HD this is YouTube HD format here where it says sound go on settings we want to change the rate from 44 to 88 change the use from mono to stereo the compressor wants to be mp4a or mpeg4 then we can click ok then we can click next now here is where you have some choice after experimenting over the weekend I found out that if you keep it as the custom size as 640 by 480 Camtasia will put the smart focus in it 1280 by 720 it, which is the um, HD encoding Camtasia will not put the smart focus in it you have to do that manually okay so I recommend doing this but if you want to um, give the full view of your screen you want to do your screen size now that varies from monitor to monitor of course so once you've done this you've figured out what you want it as you can click next now here you have the opportunity to add some information you have the opportunity to add um, a auth and copyright information SCORM which is a e-learning lesson and a watermark I don't bother with the watermarks and um, for those of you who don't know what a watermark is they appear sometimes in the right bottom right hand corner of videos so here we've created our preset you can click close cancel now we're going to import media so we're going to find what we did again so I'm finding my example file again okay now we are going to click on here right click add to timeline now here 
we are going to choose our preset which is the one we've just created here you have the opportunity to choose whether it applies smart focus or you can keep it the same we, we want to choose smart focus one now it can't do it on mine because the video is not long enough so once you've done that you can click on produce video as and done all the editing you want to do you can click on this produce video as it will do this you want to click next so let's change that to example or whatever you want to change it to okay now you have the opportunity to upload it to screencast which is a video hosting website which is made by TechSmith the makers of Camtasia so this is our end information it tells you the video codec all this should be the same for you apart from the size which you might change to what you want to change it to okay then we can click finish so it's rendering the project it doesn't take that long with it being a five second video clip but videos of longer length will take more time now the reason why we created this preset is because Camtasia doesn't have anything related to HD not as such yet anyway so that's the reason why we have created that okay so this is finished tells you everything you need to know where it's been put so you can click finish now you can close Camtasia if you want to save it you can okay and this is our finished product this is the file we can upload to YouTube now once you've done once you've exited out of Camtasia you will get QuickTime player pop up which will show you your video you've just created so it shows you the recording size so you want to open up your web browser go to YouTube we can click upload Now we need to choose the QuickTime movie file, which is this one. Now depending on the size of your video, it will take at least around an hour to put the HD format on it. because for my Camtasia ones they have the HD if you can see you can actually watch them in HD so that's it from me just thought I'd do that um, if you have anything to say about the video please say it I will take anything on board that's it from me guys see you later